YouTubers, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you tonight, and the topic is we want to load our own cast slug loads for our 12 gauge shotgun. Because these days, that's a very reasonable way to shoot. Now, the recipes are published for the slug, the wad, the powder, the primer, and the hull to be put together to make these slug loads and they've been tested by the manufacturers and and they're safe but a lot of times we want to take and substitute different wads because we're looking for more accuracy well these wads are advertised to be equal to other wads so you would think that we could substitute them freely but is this true certainly if we substitute something then we do that at our own risk. Well, we should do that with an educated risk. In other words, is it safe? So how do you determine that? Well, let's take, for instance, the Lyman 525 grain pellet slug. And we're supposed to use a Winchester 114 wad for that. But this happens to be a downrange yellow wad, which is the equivalent of the 114. Well, there's also the, the urge, the, the temptation for us to take a Winchester AA-12 wad and see if we can substitute that for the Winchester 114 wad. Turns out that the pellet slug will fit all of these nicely. So let's take the downrange 114 wad, which is the yellow one, first and see if that is safe to substitute for the Winchester 114. So take your wad and your slug, set it on top of a 50 caliber wooden dowel that's at least as long as your barrel. So what you do is take the wad and put it on top, and then take your slug barrel, this happens to be the rifled Mossberg slug barrel, and set that right on the wad and run that through your barrel. Now notice that there's, there's tension there. Now if we give that a little push, lo and behold, that wad and slug goes right through the barrel with a little bit of a push, but there it goes. That slug and wad combination went through that barrel very nicely. So this will act like a, like a sabo, take the rifling, give the slug a, a turn, and give it accuracy. Well, as you know from our other video, we've already established that this wad shoots very accurately. Well, we substituted the Winchester AA-12 wad, and it goes through that barrel just the same. So I won't show you that. Now we can also take our smoothbore barrel and do the same test so that we know that that this slug and these two wads are safe to use and in fact ready to test for accuracy. Now, if we have the Lee 1 ounce slug or the Lee 7 8 ounce slug or the Lee 690 round ball we can do the same thing. Now, the first thing is you take your barrel and you notice that the slug just goes right through. You see, it just, just drops right through. Now, if the slug didn't drop right through, then you have a slug that is what you call a bare slug. You're not going to put any kind of shot, any kind of a shot cup over that. Because if, if, it, if the slug itself has to be pushed through the barrel, then what you have is a slug that, that, that should be shot bare. Well, this slides right through. So, what you can do is take various wads, like for instance, this Winchester pink wad, which is the AASL or something of that nature, and you can put your, your slug in there and do the same test and see if that will pass through. And you see it doesn't pass through. 
What that means is that that slug and that wad could go with excessive pressure if you fire it in the same recipe that calls for a different wad that's published. So you want to be careful with that, that one. And you can knock that, that out. But suppose you take the 690 round ball and put it into this clay buster wad that we just, just got. Now as you know, I like to use the downrange yellow wad and cut the pedals back to the hemisphere and this will be push, can be pushed through the shotgun barrel with a little bit of snugness and that's what we want. So this will work and that's what we talked about in the other videos. But does it work with the clay buster wad? You put that round ball right in that clay buster wad. And the reason why this clay buster rod wad might be good to use is because the pedals are very thin. Well, let's see what happens. So there's the wad. Now notice that it has flare to it, so it's kind of hard to get that all started into the barrel because those pedals want to flare. But there you go. Give it a little push. And lo and behold, That goes through, which means that this is a safe wad to use with a 690 round ball. Now it just so happens that that will pass through the rifle barrel also. So I'm going to go ahead and load some loads up and test it with this, with this wad to see if this will work. But this is a good way to tell if you're if your slug wad combinations are safe enough to proceed into the testing phase, into the loading phase. So YouTubers out there, what we have is a very good combination with the Lyman 525 slug going into the Winchester AA 12 wad or, and this one works just as well, even the downrange yellow wad that substitutes for the Winchester 114. YouTubers out there, thank you very much and, uh, and good luck to you in, your, in finding your wad slug combinations. But otherwise, stay with the, the published loading data and always start with a lower powder, powder charge and work up checking for pressure for uh, excessive recoil for extraction signs that there, that there may be excessive pressure. Look at the primer that, as we talked about in the other video. So thank you very much uh, YouTubers you out there take care and